Hello everybody, Anders here. In this tutorial, I'll talk about how I was baking brush shelves using the wide depth expert inserts so really code. So my previous video was about how you can just grab a screen grab from the viewport and use it, but it's not the highest quality stuff that you can get from 3D code. The highest quality stuff is really, you can only get it by baking a 32-bit image. So I have here this particular uh, rock scan that I've been using as my uh, baking material and I've captured it uh, as part of a photo pack on a location and I've created these five different samples of the rocks so now I decided to extract those rock texture and create brushes that I could use to create cliffs and rocks so I have them all inputted here and then you can see I have my grid here and I have this grid here because when I input the stuff by default it can be rotated like that and you really want to rotate it up in the y-axis this is why i activated my grid so this is that button right there because it only bakes from like on the y-axis from the bottom up all right so then we go into export expert depth along y here we have our uh, settings so uh, the really important one is the patch size, but your fold it might be really high uh, in your 3D code, it might be like 3000, so you won't even see that yellow border, so you want to go down a little bit. Then there is uh, quite an important button here uh, called normalize depth. If you turn it off, it will only bake from the ground plane up, so everything is below will be just um, cut off. If you click on normalize depth, it will just try to capture the whole thing up and down. I found that uh, you have quite a bit of control inside your 30-bit image that you can just cut off uh, your bottom parts anyway and I'll show how to do it. And I'll bake it at a bit higher resolution at uh, 128, uh, one, at 8K. And let's just press OK and save it as our .xr image. Okay, so here we have our guide and I'll go straight into the exposure control and here you can use the offset to essentially cut off what bottom and up apart so I'll just do it a little bit I'll use the I want to have a bit of a difference between top and bottom a bit more than that so let's see a couple of correction all right so I would I wouldn't usually beg that much I would bake the small part of brush because if you have it this big it might get too noisy so just bake a piece out of it or like I will bake this at 15,000 uh, pixels and then pick a part and just make a brush out of it but here I'll just use this as an example and use it as a whole so then I'll just I think I'll still run the offset here, wait a second, and cut out a little bit of the bottom part, like this, and then I'll create a new layer, and just paint black, full, full black, and just cut out bits and uh, parts around. At 100% opacity. And this is 8K image at 32 bit. It beats X quite slow. So I'll think cut out the whole. I'll get the whole part out. And then drop the opacity to like 20% and paint a little bit here and there. Then I want to transform it to a 16 bit image. And it offers you, okay, let's merge it. Offers you a local adaptation method. So I'll just switch it to exposure and gamma. So I don't want this image to be changed. Then I want to uh, cut it. So it's so trimmed properly and all in the middle. Then uh, this really important bit is I want to change the RGB color to grayscale incredibly important because it will help avoid having bending on your mesh 
and then I want to run some, you know, patch filling brush to cut uh, to remove some grass that there is there. It will just look like noise on your texture. So I'll just I'll do this stuff over the mesh, over the bake. All right, so our brush is pretty much ready to go. We just need to save it as a TIFF 16-bit and input it into 3D code. All right, so I'm inside 3D code and I have this uh, alpha already loaded up and I have it connected to my move tool. So now if I just press control and I just push it and pull it in a direction like that and then I can just pull it down and get a lot of detail out of the out of this guy because pretty much part of comes from a good old 3d scan i'm doing a set of these brushes so it'll be like uh, around 10 uh, which i'll publish quite soon uh, available for quite cheap for a penny and yeah so this is really about it, how to make these high quality brushes with 16 bit in depth and with a lot of resolution. I hope you guys liked it and uh, see you in the next video.